The home ec teacher gave Dee an assignment to make a traditional American meal. But she was a little pressed for time. So instead of cooking it for three hours at 350 degrees, she just did it for an hour at 500 degrees. So the home ec teacher thought that maybe Dee should be in a class with a little less math. And the only other class during that period was drama. Well, she told me it was way fun, so I got a transfer, and Meryl streaked my way over to the auditorium. There wasn't a seat next to Dee, but I think it was fate, because the only empty one was right next to the most intense-looking high school boy I'd ever seen. Excuse me, but this class is for real actors. Are you sure that you're supposed to be here? Amber, I know that you fake things many times, but when have you ever acted? People, people, please excuse my tardiness, but I had a personal crisis I don't want to go into. Last night, I broke up with my paramour, and suffice it to say, I'm in a period of mourning. <sighs> now, I've been informed that we have two new students. Um, Cher Horowitz. Cher, do you have any theatrical experience? Well, I saw Cats three times. <laughs> no, darling, have you done any stage acting? Oh, well, I was Glinda, the Good Witch in The Wizard of Oz once. Oh, and when were you in that production? Um, in Girl Scouts. <laughs> People, please. Even Kenneth Branagh had to start somewhere. And our other new student is Donal Miller. Donal, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And Donal, do you have any acting experience? Well, uh, I was a guy in Guys and Dolls on Broadway last year. And uh, I was a guest star on Fresh Prince. Oh, I saw that episode. You were so brilliant as the valet Parker. Very impressive, Donal. Oh, no. I was watching House of Style that night. Now, students, as you may know, we are holding open auditions for the school play next week. And the play we will be performing is Hamlet, the classic tale of madness and betrayal. All right, students, let's get rid of our tension with an acting exercise. Everybody pick a partner, and let's do mirror work. And begin. Concentrate. Yes. Delve deeply into the other person's eyes. Use your whole instrument. And exaggerate. Oh, Dee, isn't he extreme? I mean, he has Chris O'Donnell's eyes, but he's got, like, this Johnny Depp depth. Like, he's so passionate that you could totally picture him trashed in a hotel room. Oh, Dee, I gotta go. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. Your secretary called. She said that you're supposed to meet Mr. Henderson at the deli at 8 a.m. Oh, and I wrote a thank you note to the city councilman for that tall, weird plant he sent over. I hope you don't mind, but I gushingly referred to it as the L. McPherson of shrubs. Yeah, I don't believe it. Look at you. You're becoming so responsible. You know, I've been thinking. In my office, I always reward people for a job well done. You're giving me a quarterly bonus? No. <clears throat> However, I've decided to extend your curfew to 10 o'clock on weeknights and midnight on the weekends. Daddy, that is so way supportive of my burgeoning adultness. My life is on an upswing. I got a later curfew and a new Baldwin to strive for. But it was very difficult because Miss Crawford had us do such stupid stuff. Let me guess. You found an object from a loved one had fallen onto the floor and shattered into a million pieces never to be replaced. No. You, you saw, like, uh, a bird fall from a tree, and, and it was half alive, and you ran to save it, but it died in your hand. Um, no. I know. You're really upset because your dog chewed your brand new Manalo Blahnik pumps. That's right! See, we have this dog, 
but he kept on destroying everything. So eventually, we had to give him to a dude ranch. Oh, that must have been very emotional for you. It was. I lost a lot of good shoes. How should we do our audition? Well, every good movie review says that the actor was riveting. Riveting? How do you rivet? I don't know, but I think it means you have to be, you know, hypnotic. Oh, hi. Hi. Can't get us to read in Hamlet, huh? Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt. Are you calling me fat? So, are you guys auditioning for the play? <sighs> auditioning? We're performing! They might as well arrest us now for stealing the show. <laughs> Let us go with it. Stage left, even. I heard about it. <laughs> he doesn't even know I exist. I have to get cast in that play. Now, girls, what will you be doing a scene from? We've selected a scene from House of Style. I'm Amber Valletta, and I'm Shalom. <clears throat> Blue eyeshadow. Is it here to stay, or just the latest trend? This year's newest color is bleu. Sparkling, frosted, and matte. But is this trashy, chic, retro trend merely this year's go-go boot? Perhaps. So enjoy it, girls, while it lasts. I think we really riveted. <laughs> As God is my witness, they are not gonna lick me. If I have to lie, cheat, or kill, I'll never go hungry again. It's supposed to be radishes, but I'm totally allergic. Cover me, partner. I'm going in. Be careful out there. Bang! No! <laughs> you be kai ya yeah. You take that to the bank. What was that a scene from? Die Hard. Actually, it was Die Harder. I was Bruce Willis. I was Bruce Willis. Sean, I was Bruce Willis. No, remember when we were doing Lethal Weapon, I was Danny Glover, and you were Mel Gibson, but... I thought I'd do, like, uh, a composite of Brando's best scenes, because he's, like, the best American actor. Could have been a contender, Charlie, instead of a bum, which is what I am. But uh, now you come to me and say, Don Corleone, give me justice. I tell you, our planet Krypton will explode within 30 days. Get the butter. Hi, Daddy. 20 minutes before your curfew. I like that. People, this is the cast list. Remember, there are no small roles, only small actors. Look, I'm Polonius, and you're Laertes. <laughs> that means I'm your dad. I guess we know which one of us looks more mature. Sean, the only reason why I'm the son is because I wear braces. Another piece of ridiculous casting based solely on physical appearance. See, so now I know how Pamela Anderson must feel. The inequity. <gasps> I'm Ophelia, the leading lady. I knew I would get it. I don't believe it. I'm a handmaiden. Are you serious? Oh, I'm nauseous for you. Well, you're a handmaiden, too. I am? What's a handmaiden? It means that you wait on me and do my bidding. <laughs> you mean I'm a maid? Oh, did you get a bad part, too? No. I'm Hamlet. Really? Oh, congratulations, because you totally deserve it. Oh, thanks. Listen, uh, 
So many other actors are going to this poetry rave Friday night over at Molten Java. It's gonna start around 11.30. You wanna go? I've heard it's way bohemian. I'd love to go. <laughs> 11.30? But my curfew is midnight. So, uh, you gonna go? I was totally Hamlety. To go or not to go. Whether tis nobler to keep my curfew, or tis better to hang with yon bodacious Baldwin. Methinks me dust must go. Oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I know is that I love him. Yeah, it sounds great. Hello? Shouldn't you be snoozing in your Dr. Denton's by midnight on Friday? Your dad is going to kill you. I know, but how could I say no? I am totally in love with the now. Plus, Amber's gonna be there. I have to go. Maybe if I borrowed an hour from next week, then I could stay out later this Friday. Why don't you just impress him with your acting? How would that get me home earlier? Cher, don't you get it? A DiCaprio like Donnell would be way more impressed with the colors of your acting palette than whether you're at some party or not. You think so? Seriously. All right, people, place, places and focus. It's time to rehearse. Remember, feel your character. Feel. Sean, check it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Hamlet time. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yo, yo, MC Hamlet, look. Can't touch this. Now, remember, Amber, you're feeling betrayed. Your heart is crushed. You're in a black hole of despair. Let me see it. Okay. Could truth, my lord, have better beauty than with commerce? Indeed, my lord. Excuse me, Cher Dion, those are not the handmaiden costumes. Well, we're updating. Continue, Donal. Aye, truly. For the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty. Cher Dion, what are you doing? Well, I'm a maid, right? So we're miming that we're dusting. Darling, do less. Less is more. Resume. Tis some time a paradox. But now no, time. I, I just can't work like this. Oh, I was totally not impressing Danelle with my acting. Now I'd have to go to the poetry rave. Maybe if I explained the situation to Daddy. Daddy, I have to talk to you. I'm having a crisis in my drama class. Your drama class? Cher, did I ever tell you that I was in my high school play, too? Oh, you were? Oh, great, then you will totally understand. I played ice in West Side Story. It was pretty terrific. Bohoy, bohoy, crazy bohoy. Get cool, boy! Got a rocket in your pocket. Keep coolly cool, boy. Don't How could I discuss my curfew with Daddy when he was so happy reliving a hideous high school memory? Sometimes you just have to protect your parents from the harsh realities of life. Love is like a sweet, sweet rose that does not return my phone calls. Or sometimes it just rings and rings, and I know you have call waiting. Who are you talking to? Who? Boy. This really seemed to be where the art crowd hung out. And no one there was going for the natural look. It was like they were all mad at their hair. Did my heart love till now? For I never knew true beauty till this night. Danau, hi, um, wow, this place is really decorous. Yeah, it's where I hang out a lot. Can I buy you a latte? Sure, but I can't stay too long. Why? Do you have a uh, curfew? Don't worry. I'll get you home in time for daddy. No, it's just that my trainer hates it when I'm sleep deprived. I can't do as many reps. After Ms. Crawford, I'm doing an interpretive piece based on Leonard Nimoy's book, I Am Not Spock. It'll blow you away. Great, contact at 11.40. So if he goes on now and does a five minute poem, there's still enough time to get me back home by midnight, assuming there's no traffic on the 405. 
I'm sure Daddy will give me a ten minute cushion for a goodnight kiss. Oh no, Amber. I better not talk about my curfew. Do my ears not point? Where the yon cling on? I shall death grip no more. I kept hoping Danelle would finish up soon. But I guess when you're that good an actor, it's hard to stop. I'm sure Daddy will give me a 20-minute cushion. Maybe I should call him. No, no, it'll just be a few more minutes, I know. the stage, I couldn't find him out. Did my heart love till now? For I never saw a true beauty till this night. Danelle, you should really memorize some other poems. You mean that he said that line to you, too? Can you take me home now? I really have to go. What is this, a date? I thought you were bringing me. Well, hey, look, why can't we all just hang out together, huh? Uh, listen, uh, a couple of us are going to improvise a poem about falling in love over the internet. Danelle, I think I've seen enough of your acting. And don't speak to me unless it's on stage. Come on, Cher. Want to share a taxi? Well, taxi? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Not anymore. We're outy. I loved your Spock. Do you do any Sulu? Well, as a matter of fact. Cher, you know what time it is? It is one o'clock in the morning. One hour past your curfew. I was worried sick. I was going to call the police. I was checking hospitals. Daddy, I'm sorry. I screwed up. I should have called home, and I didn't. I don't know what to say to you, Cher. You've really let me down here. I know. I was so happy that you trusted me, and then I disappointed you. Haven't you ever wanted to do something, and you knew it was wrong, but you did it anyway? No, never. Daddy. Well, once I had a client pay his fees in cash, and I was tempted just for the moment not to report it on my income tax. But I did. I reported it. This was the right thing to do. That's because you're way mature. I know it's not an excuse, but isn't there such thing as a cute boy defense? No, there is not. I'm really sorry for letting you down, Dad. You know I'm going to have to punish you. I know. That's why I'm gonna ground myself for a month and I'm not even gonna watch TV. Well, I mean, the grounding part is right. But don't you think you're being a little harsh on yourself? All right, then. Two weeks and not a day less. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. Come here. Could beauty, my lord, have better commerce than with honesty? I was way excited about performing in front of a regular audience. Let's not inoculate our old stock. I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. And when Dee and I came on with our new headgear for my smell a hat, well, the audience almost totally lost it. Uh, Do you know what I found out? Okay, well, you know how I thought, like, Danelle was this really cool name? It turns out his real name is Donald, and he just dropped the D. Oh, that is beyond pretentious. Where, where's thy father? At home, my lord! I didn't go to the cast party since I was grounded for my curfew faux pas. But I got to thinking, it's funny how, like, deep reading can be like real life. Like Hamlet was all, I'm so betrayed and bummy. And even though Danelle betrayed me, Betraying Daddy's trust felt way worse. 
And maybe it was even my fault for thinking Denial was so cool that it was worth it. <gasps> Hip huggers in a midriff top. Oh, a 1 800 number. Like I was saying, the classics are always inspirational. And borrowing the edge of husbandry for this. Above all, this above all. What's that? A blanket. To thy cell phone be true.